Hi all. Uh, well, I know I usually don't uh, put my face in front of the camera, but thought I would for this one. Uh, this short video, I just wanted to address uh, my video output um, in this time, as it is uh, rather challenging for a lot of people. And I think uh, somebody putting some videos out is not a great big giant uh, concern. but. I know that some of you might um, consider dropping people on your subscribe list um, because they're not putting a lot of videos out. Uh, and I'd, I'd ask that you not do that. Uh, I'm not monetized, uh, but there are a lot of people that this is their main job. and. Um, having enough subscribers and having enough people watching their videos uh, is important. Um, I hope to be monetized someday. I don't have enough subscribers, so if you want to subscribe, that'd be a good thing. Uh, but I just say hang in there and hang in there with the people that uh, you like to watch. Um, uh, I have a lot of people that I'm subscribed to that um, I'm caught up with all their back uh, videos because I do that a lot when I like somebody I'll go back to the beginning and I'll watch each one a little at a time and generally I'm if I watch one a day very few of my um, people I'm subscribed to actually put out a video every day so I catch up and I get a little background and I see how they've evolved evolved um, over the course of their YouTube career and and several of them started out this was a hobby or this was just the occasional thing and it has moved into a career for them. So I like to keep subscribing uh, and supporting the people who put out content that I like even if I don't like everyone. Uh, there's one in particular I'm thinking about who has a lot of um, interest as, as, as I do. Um, and um, so I don't watch every one, um, but at least I say subscribe for when he puts out something that I do like. So I'd recommend that and um, those little uh, thumbs up and thumbs down buttons are real important. They give uh, YouTube an idea if people actually like the video or if they're just you know, putting it on auto and they walk away and they're doing something else and these things are just playing. YouTube very much knows the difference between those two and knows that um, one helps and one does not help. So if you just put it on autoplay, you're not helping that person at all. It doesn't do anything uh, as far as YouTube's concerned. They want to see if viewers are engaged and engaged means participating in some way, reacting in some way. Maybe that's even the better way to say it. So people who click thumbs up or thumbs down, people who leave comments, people who like um, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, people who share it with others or save it in their, um, their, their save folder. Um, those are all things that um, I hate it that I say um all the time. I'm so sorry. I'll work on that. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I'm old. I There's some habits that I've had for a very long time, and, and uh, um, it's just going to happen. Um, maybe it's a drinking game for somebody. I don't know. <laughs> so I'd hate to uh, take away from somebody that uh, gets enjoyment out of it. Anyway, what I was saying. So leaving comments, clicking the like button, uh, sharing, subscribing, all of that is, is helpful uh, for the, uh, the content producer, the, the person that's making the videos. Because um, now I'm going to catch myself every time I say hum. Um, YouTube looks at that and says, oh, people like this video, They're, they like it to the point that they actually comment about it or they save it or they share it or something like that. So think about that. I know some of you, this isn't um, 
a daily thing uh, to be on YouTube. You do it on the occasion uh, for whatever reason you don't want to subscribe, but consider it. If you're not already signed up on YouTube, that's like about three clicks. YouTube's owned by Google. So if you have Gmail or you do Google in any other way, you're already connected into that situation. So it's not like by subscribing that suddenly they get all your information and they're going to send you uh, disgusting uh, advertisements or anything like that. You know, you're probably already getting all that. You're not giving anything new to anybody because, again, you're probably already engaged with Google in some other way. And if there's somebody I, uh, of the big, um, giant internet people out there, um, Google's probably the best. I mean, heck, every time I get somebody's email, it seems so much of the time that it's a Gmail account. So uh, don't be too apprehensive about that. I mean, it's really good. I just went through a training on internet security. Uh, so it's really good to be secure and to be mindful of what you're doing. But, you know, it's, it's Google. If you're safe, you're comfortable with Google, then it is so very quick to set up account. Yes, that means you have an account where you could post your own videos. And that's kind of how I started. I started watching uh, YouTube for uh, periodically for I was interested in a particular topic or I wanted to learn about fixing the, um, the Roomba or, you know, what's the best recipe. There's all sorts of things on YouTube, which I'm sure you know. Um, and really wanted to like a video that I saw because I wanted to uh, save it as well and be able to refer to it later. And uh, I had to have an account to do that. So I signed up and I don't know, about three years ago or so, I did a video. It wasn't I set out to do a video. I think it's when they were putting on the new roof and I thought, wow, this is really interesting. Um, I want to, um, you know, film this and stick it on YouTube. Why not? You know, that way I could contact my uh, friends and say, I put this thing there whenever you want to watch it. You don't have to watch it right now. Just here's the link to it. And, um, you know, I think about four people watched it and that's okay. Uh, same thing with the videos of the dogs or the chickens or, um, you know, any of my pets. There's people who are interested in that and other people that are not. And I'm not trying to put out a quality video. Um, really, at this point, I don't spend a whole lot of time. Um, I don't um, edit my videos, although I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to start doing that. It's like I got to take the big step and learn how to edit videos. Uh, anyway, I'm getting all off track on that. I just want to say thank you. Thank you if you've subscribed. Thank you uh, for watching. And the point I originally wanted to make was in this time, uh, a lot of you uh, subscribe to me because of the concert videos that I put out. Um, and that has ground to a screeching halt uh, in this particular environment in 2020. So don't give up. Hopefully they'll be back. Um, it just, I don't know when. Um, and, and just a note on that, I don't take any money whatsoever for somebody else's work. Um, if I ever do get to the point of uh, being monetized and if a concert video slips through, I, I can track that down if I got paid um, and uh, be able to refund that or remit it to uh, the artist because I am not going to do that. That's not what this is about. Uh, I think I've had one or two people 
make comments like that, and, and I understand, uh, but that's, that's not what I'm about. Um, I'm very much for artists being paid for their art. Um, I did see somebody recently who lifted some uh, parts of my video and put it, uh, uh, several of my videos, and put it into a compilation that he then posted on his site. Uh, of course, the um, uh, uh, copyright owners immediately slapped uh, a copyright um, claim on that. So, you know, he won't profit just like I won't profit. Uh, but again, like I said, even if something slipped through, there's a few of my videos that just are not monetized for whatever reason. And uh, some of them get a lot of views. And that's not going to happen with me. I'm not going to do that. Um, one particular person that I'm sure a lot of you know, um, uh, I've, I've told him, you know, if I hand you an envelope, just go with it. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I've talked for way too long. I thought this would be like two minutes, and here it is at 11 minutes plus. So thank you for... Uh, sticking with me if you stuck all the way and hang on someday we'll see live concerts again and um, I'll be able to uh, provide you know content again like that in the meantime I do put out you know other content that may or may not be interesting to you uh, some of you are here because of my bead weaving some of you are here because of the chickens. Uh, some of you just see a cute dog rolling around in the grass and think that's cute. Uh, I've got a variety of things out there. It's not like I'm a big time professional con um, content producer and uh, like, you know, have regular uploads and, and you know, all that. I'm just an old lady that is having fun putting some videos out. And uh, I really like the comments. I, I love trying to try to respond to every comment. Um, it's kind of weird on how it sorts in, in YouTube. Um, I have to take off some filters that just automatically appear in order to see some comments. So it may be a while sometimes. And if somebody says come something kind of rude, I may not comment back. It's like somebody calls me a name, I'm just not going to engage. I figure that they're just, you know, trolling, trying to start trouble, and I'm not doing that. Um, the vast, vast majority of you are really nice and really kind, and 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 do a great, you know, great job of of having positive comments. Uh, but just quickly on that, and, and I'm going to wrap this up because I can't believe how long I've talked. Um, I don't mind uh, negative comments if they are constructive. Constructive criticism is fine with me. Um, if somebody just says, you know, you stink, I okay, what is it that you don't like? You, you know, I may or may not change to what you like, but I'd like to at least know what people are saying uh, or thinking. So if you think my videos are too long, too short, um, that just depending on the content is going to uh, change things. Um, let me know. Just, you know, say, hey, you know, I'd really like to see this. Uh, and several people have done that. They say, you know, I'd really like to see a video on this, in this aspect of uh, what you're doing. Or it, it, yeah, I really don't care for this. If I see a whole bunch of that, then I'm going to go, hmm, you know, my audience doesn't really like it. So maybe I can work on changing it. Like, my audience really doesn't like it when I get in front of the camera and talk for a long time. That might be an example. So in the comments below on this one, why don't you start it out? Just tell me, did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, would you rather I just hide my face? Which is kind of what I'd rather do anyway. But um, 
I don't know, you know, just let me know. Let me know what's what's going on. And uh, again, I'm not I'm not against crit, uh, constructive criticism. You know, if it has a point and it's more than just, you know, trying to throw out um, a strafing run. You know, you, you, you run in, you say something, you run away. It's like, you're probably not going to get any kind of response from me on that. Um, but anyway, I've talked too long, 15 minutes. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you again soon. And, and hopefully I'll put something up again soon that you really like. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.